you know, we're just sitting at home. Today is 4th of July. This is how we celebrate 4th of July. Yeah. Get the truck, go! But the funny thing was, we're sitting there, still in our pajamas. I wear, okay, I wear sweats, okay, not, <laughs> not pajamas. Me too. Don't. And we just thought, we need to get out today. The sun is not shining today. You noticed it's been a while since we put out a video, and that's because we're trying to find something that we think you would like to see. We're not just trying to put a video out to put a video out. We want to grow, we want to, you know, be successful, but we want to give you guys quality. And if you like this kind of video that we're doing, it's going to be a random kind of thing. Today it's, it's a lost speedway, but it, who knows what it can be tomorrow. If you like that kind of adventure, kind of a random kind of thing, uh, give us a, a thumbs up and, and down below. <laughs> Not the thumbs down, but the thumbs up down below. We have all these great places that we want to show you all, but they're like, you know, five hours, 10 hours away. Uh, we feel like we've done a lot of the same thing that's close to our hometown. But uh, this one came up and I looked at him and goes, oh no, we've got to do this. The Indianapolis Motor Speedway was 30 miles off our route. It's all led to this. But it was the home of the Indy 500. We had to stop. This is one of those kind of cool things that just happened. We can actually go in. We yeah. thought it was closed, but the green light's on. Go to the museum. Yes, let's go. All right. This is cool. I feel like I'm Mario Andretti. Yeah, he might turn us around after we get in here. They learn oh, Hart Jr. There's a museum entrance. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is so cool. Just, just going through that tunnel is worth it. Hello. You want to go to the museum? Is it open? Okay, the museum is closed till April, but there is the gift shop. We're going to the gift shop. And we have to go to the gift shop. Yes, got to. If, whether it's a t-shirt or a magnet, we have to do that. Checkered flag. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. The museum is being redone, and one of the things they have is we got to do. What? Is it's a starting line experience. It's like you're literally. Oh, that is cool. There at Look the at starting that. line. Right there, you could be there. Gentlemen, start your engines. Ladies, I think so. whoever. I think you should get in the cars. There's three cars right there. It looks like in. it. Well, that'd be part of the experience, I would think. Okay, we gotta come back. Oh yeah, we gotta come back. We decided against taking the half-hour tour of the track, but made good use of the gift shop. What did you find? <laughs> Look what I found. It's right here. Yeah. Oh, my. oh yeah. We be blinging. We be blinging. <laughs> A candle and two magnets later, we're ready to go. Okay, for those of you who've never been to a racetrack, it's kind of like a football stadium or something like that on steroids. <laughs> Look at all these seats. <laughs> Just goes on literally for what, two and a half miles? I have Grand no stands <laughs> idea. For days. What's the name of this place? The DX station. Oh, there it is right there. Look at that. How cool is that? Oh my gosh, look at the Cokes over there in the Coke stand. Oh, this is too cool. And look at the old barbershop next door. This is the kind of thing you live for. Now station with the little bell. Good work, no, no. Look at this. It's fantastic. I feel like I'm a kid again. What's the gas price? 95 cents a gallon on this one. That's high for that thing. Wow, what is this? Oh, look at this. Okay, here's what I wanted to see when we pulled by here. So we came back. Had to. This thing is just laying here. We're like, what? Do you remember that? <laughs> you would have those and you'd have the cases and then you would fill it up with empty bottles and then you'd take it back to the store. You had to pay for the bottles and you got the deposit back when you yeah, took them Yeah, you got your three cents back, I think, back then. Three to five, depending on what yeah. year it was. Yeah. yeah. 60s or the 70s, I'm not sure. <laughs> Love this, man. This is nice. And this Coke machine, five cents. Oh, there can't be anything in here. No, okay. <laughs> I was going to say five cents. I don't think so. Let's go look at the windows in the front. Uh huh. Vanessa's favorite thing. Let's look in the windows. You remember getting milkshakes? Maybe right? is that a milkshake? That's a milkshake, milkshake? maker. Okay. Yeah. yeah. 
And well, look at the old Coke bottles. That holds your, and it wow. holds your straws. Yeah, you know, the straw holder, you pull it up and the straws are all. Oh, wow, that, that syrup looks really old. Yo, oh, man. I think that's a hummingbird feeder. Not, not sure. Look at the booth. Drag City Diner. There's a booth in there. Okay, there's an engine sitting in there. I assume. Okay, yeah, then. that's an engine. <laughs> Way back on there. A lot of glare on this glass. Sorry, guys. This, oh, this is, is awesome. Cool. This is worth a stop. It really and is. And again, we had no idea. We were going to film something we didn't even know we could get in to see. Yeah, but you know, the thing of it is, if you come to the Indianapolis Speedway, this is the main drag into the very front doors of it. So you'll see this place if you ever come. If you come by, make sure you stop at DX's. And leave a comment if you say, hey, Jim, Vanessa, we were there, man. It's be perfect. This is Indiana Cornfields. <laughs> so how's your sandwich? Really good. We stopped right outside of Peoria. Peoria? Indianapolis. Oh, outside of Indianapolis actually. And we stopped, there was a, a, a classic car. <laughs> He's laughing at me, I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> I think I, I think I needed food. I think well, that's, I what, think it that's what it was. I think that's what it was. We were both getting tired. Okay, our next place to go through. We've been through a lot of towns, right? Yeah. On this way. Quite a few. We're going through the little country towns, right? We're probably going to say this wrong. And you, if you are from Indiana, especially Indianapolis, please forgive us if we say it wrong. It's La... Doga. Doga. I think. Either that or La Doga. I don't know. We're getting ready to hit Main Street, so we love these keeps, little towns. She keeps calling it Laduga. So I, don't know. I don't know. Well, that's just. Me. We don't know. That's why we're saying if we're pronouncing it wrong, sorry. It's haunted. <laughs> See the house on the right? That that's the haunted house. There it is, Ladoga. Okay, Ladoga. Coming to downtown. Oh, I like this. Post office on the left. Oh, we have got to stop. All I can say is, wow. Look at that. That is true Gothic Victorian, I think. Gothic, maybe? And and haunted. Check that out. Much better condition. A little bit more remodeling done. A little bit of reno. Wait till this one looks like that. You know what this reminds me of? What? Uh, Jerry Brockheimer's Little Town. Oh, yeah. Let me think about it. It had just... Bloomfield. Yeah, I'm gonna see that one. Check it out. We'll have to redo it because we didn't do it that well because we had no idea we were doing a video. Song of the day. Oh, <laughs> on this trip, it's song of the day now. Song I of mean, the just day out now. of the blue, we're she just, just turn the camera on. It's nice and quiet. Corn on left and corn on right. And with what we've been dealing with, it's <laughs> don't let the rain come down. Oh no. Oh no. What? I thought that was that. It is it. Okay, well, why are you doing this? I really didn't think you were going to sing it. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's what I get for saying anything. I love it when we see the Amish. I admire them because, wow. And we can't pass on a curve. Well, so. this oh, guy he is. Did. Oh, so, here we go. Over. Wow. Sorry, buddy. Okay, we are here, we found it. Trouble is, it's got new owners and it's got these barrels up. We don't want to go past the barrels. We don't want to be trespassing. Of course, the trespassing sign is further down there, but this is so cool. I want to get so close. The Jungle Park Speedway opened in 1926 near Sugar Creek, about an hour west of Indianapolis, kind of in the middle of nowhere as a half mile oval with quarter mile oval in its infield. Eight Jungle Park veterans went on to win the Indianapolis 500. It closed after one last, what was described as a horrific accident in 1960. To give you an idea of the sense of community back then, according to what we found, one car went off the track, flipped and caught fire, not having much if any safety equipment. People ran to put out the fire with beer. There's the entrance. You can even see the first turn right through there. 
grandstands. What a place this was in its time. Right down the street from here, we talked to a really nice guy and his daughter. Yeah, Gobbler's and Knob, the Gobbler's ice cream store. Gobbler's, Gobbler's Knob. Knob. Kind of like yeah. Coach Tony Phil's house. And we place. were really hoping that he would know the people that owned this. And he's lived here while, been from this area for a long time. But it's privately owned, and we really, really want to respect that. Yeah. He said that the person who owns it now is not really big about letting people on the property, and we have... No way to tell where this person might live, but we do have this we can look at. Those of you who like history, take a screenshot. Oh, look at this, the Ghost of Jungle Park book. You know, I think I might call that number. Yeah, that might be cool. Just to see where it is that you would buy one of those. And you're buzzing. What is that? Doesn't sound like a V8 to me. <laughs> that was very weird. <laughs> it's a... It's a bee. Oh, okay. I'm going to go get my phone. Wow, look at this, guys. Think about this. Back in the day, opened in 1926. Oh, man. Trees overtaking the track and the pits. What once was. It's really incredible when you think about it. This is where NASCAR got its start. Did you tell them about how deadly this place was? Because even the guy down at the um, ice cream place was just amazed at all the really bad stuff that happened in this place. I can't even imagine. There was no guardrails. There was nothing. Yeah, people getting run over on the track. I know. People running off into the creek, Sugar Creek in the back. It, I can see why this place shut down, but still the history. And people like, just get past that door over there. We can see a little bit more, but <laughs> just, you know, we get that. So and you sneak. know, it's... The owner, actually, of the place here, her grandfather or her father, I can't remember, we'll have to check into that. His car is actually back on the property. Yeah, there is a car. We've seen the picture. Yeah. We just can't get to it. I need the umbrella for this one. Sure that, sure that well, of I'm course wrong. I will. Thank you so much. It's a little damp out here. <laughs> the wind's blowing. Welcome to Crawfordsville, <laughs> Indiana, and the Rotary Jail Museum. That's right, Rotary Jail. We're going to the jail. What this is is a jail built in 1882. There were 16 built. And there are three left. This is the only Rotary Jail that still works. And you're wondering, Jim, what's a Rotary Jail? A rotary jail consists of a bunch of cheese wedges, basically, that turn in a circle. There's a, a fenced-in area, and they rotate the prisoners around. They call the prisoners that stayed in rotary jails a little rambunctious and hard to take care of. And so whenever they rotated the jail around, they would bring that one prisoner in focus. The other prisoners could not get out because they were in that circular pattern. For you women who sew, Think of it, one of those turn circle things that you click it once and you pull out a needle and then you click it again and get the second needle. That's exactly how they got out of the jail cell. One at a time, 16 prisoners. And you're thinking, why don't they still do this? Well, because a lot of prisoners started figuring out how to manipulate the system. And not just that, people were getting caught in that turning mechanism, which they had to be horrendous because they were breaking arms and legs because I guess they were sticking their hands out. And when it turned around, yeah, that's got a jail and sheriff's residence. It's in the back, I believe, from where this building is. This is an old Victorian building, by the way. Very cool architecture. We love this kind of stuff. And it's got some writing above the door. It says 1882, so we did get the year right. If we walk around the back, maybe we can see the bars on the window. Bars on the window. That's what the jail is all about, isn't it? Yeah, okay. I think this is going to be more of the office area, maybe? I don't see any bars on these windows. You hear music? <laughs> yeah, there's an ice cream store across the street. <laughs> an ice cream truck? I do not want an ice cream. Wow, look at this building. Wow. We found the jail. <laughs> we found the who's gal. Right, here we go. And if you go up at the top, 
Go up and look at the window. You can see the actual rotation cells that are in there. You can. Can right you see there. them? Yeah. Zoom in. Well, I think you can get up here. You can get up on the walkway. That's too much logic for me. <laughs> can I just zoom in? No. <laughs> okay, we'll take the stairs. Yeah, there we go. You can actually see the fenced-in area. I'll show you a few pictures that we found online. We can't get in there because it's closed. But we just had to see this, if nothing else, for the building. And the idea of a rotary jail. Look at this. That is a tight little cubby hole through there. The song that he's playing is God Bless America. Really? I keep forgetting it's July 4th today. You know what the most popular flag is? Which one? U.S. flag. Is you it got, really? You got 50 stars. Okay. Get it? 50 stars. Yeah, it's not that funny. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, rotary jails. Look how little that window is. That's that window that was hidden. That one up there? Yeah. See, I really believe, where do you think it connected to the house? Probably that had to, right here. Oh, they look where they, looks like they filled in something there. Yeah, look, this is the, where we think the jail begins from what we understand. Because there's no bars here. This had to be maybe office now? I don't know, but this is where the jail is. It's a museum. Now, but what was it before? It was a house. Right, okay. Remember the people that lived in there me. kept coming home to the jail every night? <laughs> Don't lock it up. <laughs> All right, I think we're done. Okay. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button and notification bell to follow our adventures and know when we publish a new video. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and tell your friends about us. And remember... You have to wonder what kind of mail a Speedway would have gotten. And it looks like it's got mail waiting to be picked up. Adventure is as close as the next stop brand. What you got? I actually have a candle from uh -huh. a Victory Circle. Okay. It smells like vanilla. Vanilla? <laughs> is that what a Victory yeah, smells like? Vanilla? So. Okay, yeah. I love this. It smells, and it, is well. so, it smells so good. It does. It smells like big time vanilla. <laughs> Victory. And, and we decided that, that was the smell of Victory. Yeah. But it could no, very no, well be. I just made that decision. <laughs> yeah, it's the smell of Victory. I get that.